I must do this because it's weighing heavily on my mind. You see, every time that I hear that very dark man has been arrested again, I feel bad. I feel bad because I don't trust the Nigerian police and because I know that the people who get him arrested have a lot of supporters. For a man like very dark man who is supposed to be a national treasure, anybody who would arrest him, especially because what the arrests are about, I see as frivolities. We have this way of getting excited over things that don't really help us, that don't really promote us in any true way as Nigerians. And I don't know if it's because we need the distractions, because we need to forget about our pains, and we are just swayed and moved by things that really shouldn't move us. Because the people that get very dark man arrested are not really fighting any real cause. It's usually over things like, he said something about me that I'm not happy about. Things that I, I shouldn't be losing sleep over. And several of these people I have seen refer to him as a young man, as a small boy. And if that were to be the case, really, if I, seeing him as someone that I am older than, if I found myself in a situation where he said something about me, honestly, the last thing I'll be doing will be spending my time with Nigerian, the Nigerian police and asking them to spend time and effort and money on arresting very dark man. What a waste of time, useful time. Why don't I instead call him if I really think that he's being excessive with the things that he's saying? I would call him and say to him, young man, your youthful exuberance is too much. Why don't you settle down? These things that you do, I like them and I will support you. I want to be supporting you in the causes that you fight. That is what I will do. Why would I spend money and time and energy, resources of myself and of the Nigerian police to get this boy arrested, to prove what? I don't think, I don't, I don't think so. But we've become people who, it's like, things that are useless matter so much to us. Doesn't this show us that we're lacking in We're lacking in sense. And I am sorry to put it that way, but this is what I see. In a country where people who are oppressed suddenly have someone who is fighting for them, I haven't seen anyone step up to say, I will be your godfather or your godmother. I haven't seen that. I would like to say that publicly. If I could, that's what I would do. And even when we're talking about the masses that he's fighting for, I don't see enough of that support. I don't see that. I haven't seen anyone make a painting, a billboard, anything like that. Maybe there are and I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that kind of support. But instead, we want to show our support to people who have clout, who have fame, who don't necessarily do anything that's beneficial for us. And this guy fights people's causes with his own money and doesn't collect a dime. This is what I have heard him say, and I believe it. He's had a, a, a squabble with someone over this, about him not collecting money to do these things for people, and he even spends his own money. And he puts himself at risk. And these people are the people who collectively go and talk about him and talk about how they will bring him down. Unfortunately, yes, he plays into their hands sometimes with some of the things that he does and says, but these people want him down. But I recognize that there are people for whom he's, for whom he's a disturbance because some people live by oppressing others and that's how they make their living. They live by poisoning and killing others. For instance, I do remember the last time that I saw 
anyone on and I, I saw on the, on the Nigerian feed bleaching creams being advertised what I see now is well-known brands that are properly made and properly packaged being advertised by people who use this if you want to maintain your complexion use that I don't see those bleaching things anymore and this only started after very dark man started his crusades he's put a stop to that or a near stop to it he's also created enough awareness for people to know that these things are risky so I'm, I'm sure that so many people who used to use them have stopped using them. At least now they are seeing people promoting things that are better and safer for them. He fights for people who get duped. It's not easy now for anyone to just come out online and collect money from people and think they're going to walk away without it being heard in the four corners of Nigeria. People who are supposed to be celebrities taking money from people are going to think twice now because they know that if the very dark man hears about it, my name is out there and my brand will be affected. But I don't see that kind of support for him. And to make matters worse, I see him being arrested and put in unsafe conditions with the Nigerian police because I know what that means. We have a way in Nigeria of showing support for things that are just hopeless and useless to us. For instance, the religious leaders, the people who pillage and rape you both physically and financially, who use your money to gain clout and gain fame and gain financial freedom and luxury. And then with that, are able to create broadcasts and do unto you things that people shouldn't even hear about. And then they come out and tell you, shh, don't say anything. Do not speak, not touch, not my anointed. And ministries all around the world who listen to what I tell them, I say this, don't criticize God's people. And then when anybody has been wronged by any of these fake wolves in sheep's clothing, and the person comes out and says, so, 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 man of God did this to me, you'll see the army of supporters coming under that person's complaints to say, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. Especially the ministers of God, I say, leave them alone. For the Bible says, whatever they do, they do unto the Lord. Are you hearing me? You are not the one to accuse another man's servant. These people are not, your, these people are not anointed of God. These people are anointed by oils from the pits of hell. These people are not men of God. They are demons. Anybody can wake up at any time and call themselves a pastor. Pastor is just the nickname that a lot of them are using. There are a handful of the real people who are actually Christians and who are men of God and who are pastors. But there are so many who are not. And these are the people that you support. You just choose to support the people who oppress you. And somebody will make a whole video and say, I am anointed of God. And say, touch not my anointed. You don't speak, you don't dare speak against the man of God. Because if you do, there will be curses upon yourself, your family. There will be sickness and there will be poverty. If you are really a man of God, this is the last thing that I would expect out of your mouth. Because you would be so concerned about the wolves who are coming to deceive the sheep. That you would want us to call them out. Because you don't want these people to hurt your, your people. I said, leave them alone. For the Bible says, whatever they do, they do unto the Lord. Are you hearing me? You are not the one to accuse another man's servant. To his master, he stands or falls. I wouldn't be so afraid that somebody's going to call me out to the point where I will pick up a microphone and make a whole video and publicize and say, touch not your anointed because you are so concerned that if you touch the anointed that we are going, you are so concerned about what's going to happen to me for talking. Oh, you are said, don't join anybody to criticize other ministers. Don't do it. Don't do it. I said the same thing to family members. I said, don't criticize any minister. Leave them alone. Because there are curses against those who do. Your whole concern is that I don't get cursed by God. My family doesn't get cursed by God. It just makes no sense. And then you will see people, if anybody comes and says, you did this and that to me, then you will see the whole army of supporters coming under the so-called man of, men of the devil.
when are we going to we need a change in our attitude to life and in our understanding of life and this is what keeps us confused because you see someone who is supposed to be a man of god and when you're when you draw close to that person you can tell that this person is so ungodly and instead of you to know and ascertain and accept and confront yourself that this person is not of god in your mind you start to feel confused and you start to say to yourself oh but i cannot speak against him because i cannot touch the anointed of god but these people are not anointed of god because anybody can call themselves pastor a man of god i have people from my own family who when they couldn't feed their families decided to just gather people and start having prayer meetings and collecting offerings from them calling themselves men of god and the only reason they did that was because they needed money for their family so people call themselves and they call themselves pastors and all you do is ah, i can't speak against this person even though he's done this to me because he's the man of god and i cannot and then this person somebody comes out and makes a whole video and says touch not my anointed don't say anything even if they do something wrong to you because this and that will happen to you why do you care so much about what will happen to them afterwards when you don't even care what's happening to them right now when someone has done something wrong to them i would never want to be in a camp or in a, in a, in, in a, in, I would never want to be part of the board of directors where the other directors are doing evil things. I would want those ones to be called out because I don't want them to be called on the same list where I will be called. It's easy to decipher who is a genuine man of God. But unfortunately, because you were born into something and it's taken your whole brain and washed it, it's it's soaked in your spirit it's hard for you to see through the blindfolds even when the most that you are is confused i want to tell you something these people see god is not a respecter of persons god created us all equal remember that anytime that you're afraid to speak against the person that you're calling a man of god remember that what the person did was ungodly and that's why you want to talk so fear not as long as that person did something ungodly, then you can speak about it. Let's support where it's due. I want to take a moment to say a word of prayer for a very dark man because I don't know another Messiah right now for the masses of Nigeria. He's the one that I know. So join me as we pray for him. Father Lord, keep this very dark man boy, very dark man guy safe. Give him wisdom in his fight in his endeavor and keep him straight on the path to do the work and to carry out the ministry that he has been called for for this is a man that was called to do a job in jesus name amen now i wish for people who are brainwashed who are afraid of touching the people who are anointed of the devil I hope that the rain comes and then you can see clearly when the rain is gone. And that is my prayer for you. Let's support the very dark man and stop supporting evil people, evil doers, who do us no good.